How's it going guys, Mr. Boss for the win, and in this video I'm going to be telling you guys how you can make some quick and easy cash in the start of the game when you first load up Grand Theft Auto V. Two of the ways might not be so obvious, one of them is, but I felt like I would touch on it anyways. But anyways, the first method is boosting cars or selling vehicles. So in the campaign you can go to the Los Santos custom shop to uh, get a custom designed car, fix up your vehicle, add an, you know, a new modulation to it. But in this game, you can basically take a car off the street drive it up to the Los Santos dealership and you can sell it for anywhere between a thousand and five thousand dollars honestly it depends on the car you bring in of course this is kind of a beat up Mini Cooper right now so when I go to sell it I only got I think it was around like a thousand seven hundred dollars yep one thousand seven hundred and twenty six dollars and I ended up selling the car and that was quick easy cash you know I literally had to break a car window drive up a garage and that's seventeen hundred dollars like i said you can also do it with some of the more expensive vehicles this is the vapid dominator or the ford mustang in real life and that got me a value of around thirty two hundred dollars so a little bit more cash definitely worth it uh you know it's so easy so simple if you see a car like that on the road and you're near a los santos dealership you have no excuse why you shouldn't just pop in take the car get the money and drive out it's that easy and i've literally done it with like five or six cars already uh, super easy process and it, like I said it just gives you a ton of money so I talked about this in the campaign a few weeks ago but you can rob uh, liquor stores and gas stations in this game just like you could in the campaign so all you have to do is really go up to the shopkeeper right here I accidentally have my fist out so he's going like what the heck is going on here but if you do have your microphone in or you have like a connect system or you use turtle beach headsets Astros if you talk and you say like hurry up hurry up get the money faster uh, he will actually speed things up you know he's going pretty slow right now I do have two stars if you do kill him you go up to three stars in this game so I'd be careful about killing the clerks it's really not worth it but he does give you the cash you'll see right here uh, I decided to kill him an automatic three stars for fifteen hundred dollars so you will get two stars and watch what happens right here I don't some idiot decides to like run right into the gas station as I decide to drive by and that cost me a life right there but anyways yeah so don't kill the clerk that is a bad idea you just want to get the gun at him and look my shotgun doesn't even have ammo right now I'm literally just pointing this gun at him and he's doing what I say so uh, you can get about I think it's around twelve hundred dollars to around seventeen hundred dollars a little bit more than that and uh, it's a really efficient way to like I said get about a thousand two thousand bucks really early in the game because some of the weapons you can buy like the sawed off shotgun and uh, the micro SMG in the beginning of the game are around two thousand three thousand dollars so it's nice to have that kind of money on you in the beginning of the game now the final way might be kind of self-explanatory to some people but killing people like I said is a great way to pick up cash because each amount is going to vary on the person you kill so let's say a person has five thousand dollars on them they'll drop a significantly more uh, amount of cash than someone who only has eight hundred dollars on them so it's the importance of the bank system how you manage your cash you don't want to be walking around with ten thousand dollars or the cash in your pocket that's something you just do not want to do and you want to kill people who are stupid enough to hold all that money in their pocket because that's going to get you the most buck when you kill them so it's really easy really efficient i had a great time just fooling around with these random people you know shooting them as they were getting in their cars and uh, unfortunately these guys only had like hundred dollars two hundred dollars but if you do get lucky and find someone who drops like five thousand dollars it's really nice plus you can also get uh, some metal bonuses with this as well for killing other people so it's really easy and uh, I had a great time doing that anyways guys like I said if you did enjoy this video or found it helpful I would encourage you guys to definitely hit that thumbs up button leave a like and of course if you want to see more Grand Theft Auto 5 videos from me in the future you can hit the subscribe button below this video you'll be subscribed it'll be awesome so anyways like I said take care thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video